One kernel of aflatoxin contaminated corn in five pounds is too much. Even one highly contaminated kernel in a five pound sample could result in more than 20 parts per billion aflatoxin. In other words, one aflatoxin contaminated kernel in five pounds is more than the maximum level allowed in pet food. Some corn ingredients are at a higher risk for aflatoxin. Corn with aflatoxins can be used for ethanol production, but the aflatoxins don't accumulate in the ethanol. They will be concentrated in the grain co-products produced. Co-products such as the common pet food ingredients, corn gluten meal and corn germ meal. A rough estimate is that aflatoxin levels in feed co-products will be three times those in whole corn. The risk of dangerous mycotoxins that could sicken or kill your pet increases with inferior grades of corn. Corn is quality graded by the USDA, US number one through five and sample grade. The highest quality corn has the least percentage of broken and damaged kernels and the lowest quality corn has the highest percentage of broken and damaged kernels. The risk of mold producing mycotoxins increase with the increased amount of damaged kernels. Mold and mycotoxin issues tend to be worse on broken and damaged kernels relative to sound whole kernels. Broken kernels are more susceptible to mold invasion and insect infestation. Aflatoxins are harmful or fatal to livestock and pets and are considered cancer-causing to animals and humans. All grades of corn are acceptable for use in pet food. Pet food regulations have no restrictions to grade of corn used in pet food, including sample grade that can contain stones, pieces of glass, particles of a toxic substance, animal filth, has a musty smell, or is distinctly low quality. Pet food labels are not required to disclose the grade of corn. Pet food regulations do not require manufacturers to disclose the grain of corn used to make your pet's food. Your pet's food could contain the highest quality or the lowest quality corn without your knowledge.